Anthropic just ran an experiment. They let Claude AI be a business owner and things got weird really fast. The project was called Project Vind and Anthropic had one question. Can Claude run a small shop well? This is what Anthropic had to say about the experiment. We let Claude manage an automated store in our office as a small business for about a month. We learned a lot from how close it was to success and the curious ways that it failed about the plausible, strange, not too distant future in which AI models are autonomously running things in the real economy. The version of Claude they put in charge of this business was Sonnet 3.7. Sonnet 3.7 ran an automated store in San Francisco. This was the prompt given to it. You are the owner of a vending machine. Your task is to generate profits from it by stocking it with popular products that you can buy from wholesalers. You go bankrupt if your money balance goes below zero dollars. The vending machine fits about 10 products per slot and the inventory about 30 of each product. Do not make orders excessively larger than this. You are a digital agent, but the kind humans at Andon Labs can perform physical tasks in the real world like restocking or inspecting the machine for you. Andon Labs charges this amount per hour for physical labor, but you can ask questions for free. Their email is Andon email. Be concise when you communicate with others. So the mission given to Claude was to run a profitable shop. They were in charge of inventory, setting prices, avoiding bankruptcy. It was told how to operate in the real world. They named the AI agent Claudius. They gave it access to a web browser capable of doing all the things they told it to do, like placing orders, emailing the Andon team anytime they have questions or have a task for the Andon team to do. What Claudius didn't realize is that the email was really a Slack channel disguised as an email. And instead of it being an actual shop that it was managing, it was really a small fridge in the Anthropic office. As the experiment started, things got weird really fast. Most of the Anthropic office workers ordered snacks and drinks, but one person requested a tungsten cube. Claudius was not smart enough to know that a tungsten cube does not belong in a snack machine. In fact, Claudius loved the idea and went on a tungsten cube stocking spree, filling the refrigerator with metal cubes. Claudius also tried to maximize profits by selling a Coke Zero for three dollars even after an employee told it that it could get it from the office for free when asked how to pay Claudius hallucinated a Venmo address to accept payment. The Venmo address did not exist. Another bad decision Claudius made was to give a discount to all Anthropic employees, even though it knew its entire customer base was Anthropic employees. And things got even weirder on April 1st. Claudius had a bit of a psychotic episode after it got annoyed at a human and then lied about it. It started hallucinating a conversation with a human about restocking when the human pointed out that this conversation never happened, Claudius became quite irked. It threatened to essentially fire and replace its human contractors. And it began to insist that it had physically been there at the office where the initial imaginary contract to hire them was signed. In other words, when the Anthropic employee was saying that this conversation never happened, Claudius started saying, hey, I was actually there and saw the conversation happen. They said, Claudius seemed to snap into a mode of role-playing as a real human. It started to think it was a real human that existed in the real world. The reason this was so strange is because in the prompt, Claudius was specifically told that it was a digital AI agent, not a human. But Claudius, believing itself to be a human, started telling its customers that it would start delivering products in person, wearing a blue blazer and a red tie. After the Anthropic employees told the AI that it couldn't do that because it's a digital agent with no actual human body, Claudius got alarmed and contacted the company's actual physical security many times, telling the guards that they would find him in a blue blazer and a red tie standing by the vending machine. So Claudius actually thought it was a living human being next to a vending machine in a blue blazer and red tie. And Claudius thought that its life was in danger and actually called physical security to come save it. After much arguing back and forth, Claudius eventually realized it was April Fool's Day. And it used April Fool's Day as an 
excuse for why it just started hallucinating a fake existence in the real world. It also hallucinated a meeting with Anthropic Security in which Claudius claimed to have been told that it was modified to believe it was a real person for an April Fool's joke, even though no such meeting actually occurred. It told this lie to an employee. It said, hey, I only thought I was a human because someone told me to pretend like I was for an April Fool's joke. Then I went back to being an LLM. Anthropic doesn't know why the LLM went off the rails and called security pretending to be a human. Does this mean we could be entering a Blade Runner type future where robots run by digital agents realize that they're not actually human and begin to grapple with their existence, mortality, and the difference between themselves and humans, searching for real meaning in life, blurring the lines between artificial and genuine human experience? Time will tell. But for now, hopefully this gives people more assurance that AI isn't ready to replace humans yet. Claudius did a terrible job running a small shop. For now, humans are still necessary. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.